Paul Jonas won the qualifying race yesterday. He knows. Oh! And immediately, Ruben Fernandez crashes out spectacularly. Just asking too much. Jonas leads then. What a blow for Fernandez. Paul's Jonas. He won't mind too much though. He has a clear track ahead of him at the end of this opening lap. Renault right there second. Siwa in the football strip of Argentina in third. Geisep in fourth. Jacoby, Olsen, Prado, Evans, Van Horvick and Watson. Let's get him over the line for the first time officially though. And it is PJ who leads. Renault second, Siwa third, Geiser, Prado, Olsen, Jacoby, Evans eight, Van Orbit nine, Koldenov ten, Watson eleven, Tixier twelve, Jed Beaton thirteen, Ferrato, the Tauro Toro is next, but Ruben Fernandez, he crosses the lowest, still waiting for him to cross over the line at the moment. And he will be 27th if he does even pick himself up. So I think his bike went off the track. And uh, Oh, he is through the uh, first three, two or three sectors, actually, so he is up and running, but he's going to be a long way down, 35 seconds off the lead. Meanwhile, Jonas, who had one and a half seconds over Maxim Renault and Jeremy Siwa, all of a sudden has little breathing space. Here is Ruben Fernandez, the number 70 for Honda 114 Motorsports. Emotions got the better of him. Here's what happened. He gets out of here, back end just works overtime once, twice, folds the front and launched himself off the track and into the fence. Here's what it looked at from our moon camp. The Spanish fans would have gone from yay to nay in one 